Hi guys, Laurel Mintz here with Elevate My Brand. Coming at you with some more great little tips and tricks that are digestible and that you can execute uh, in your own business. So today is all about how to build an authentic personal brand. Now obviously you know we do a lot more uh, corporate branding and uh, product branding, things like that, but within that there are oftentimes C-suite uh, executives that need support with personal branding. And so I wanted to just briefly touch upon that today and give you some tips and tricks on how to build a personal brand. Uh, tip number one is choosing your top three authentic core values. I hate the word authentic. I feel like it's super overused. So if you have any ideas on new words instead of that, please let me know. But think about what those, um, those authentic words would be for you, those values. So for me, it's play and fun and creativity. I mean, I have like 20 of them, but you get the point. Really figuring out what at your core you want to convey to your audience. Then it's about choosing your top areas of interest or expertise. So we're kind of creating like this like graph of who you are, what you do, and how you present yourself. So what are the top few, like three things that you are great at and that you also like to do? And then ask your friends. You know, we, we say this a lot within these videos, but surveying your market is so important because you get real-time, authentic feedback from people who know, like, and trust you already. And uh, even if it's not what you want to hear, sometimes it can open your eyes to things you otherwise would be unaware of. So definitely survey your audience, whether that's a formal survey through Typeform or SurveyMonkey, or whether you're literally just picking up the phone and asking your friends, like, who, who do you think I am? What are words you would use to describe me? etc. And then similarly, choosing a mentor or an advisory team who you believe would give you that same kind of really authentic, honest feedback. Um, we have an advisory board at Elevate My Brand. It's made up of five people, each of whom have very different skill sets to me and who have uh, made themselves available to me when I need them. So it's a really great way to um, reflect back to them since they're business people who you already know, like, and respect and who already know, like, and trust you. So they can give you some really great feedback that's honest. And again, make sure that you're open-minded when you receive that feedback. And five, uh, talk to your best friend in life. There is no one who's gonna give you better feedback than your best friend. Maybe your parents, although sometimes you don't wanna hear that. Um, it's really about creating a community around you, asking for real feedback, and aligning that with what you like to do, who you believe you are, and how you wanna show up in the world. So those are some of the ways to building a personal brand. And of course, there are things like color theory. Uh, you know, you guys know that I'm super associated with the color purple, uh, not the movie, the actual color, but that's one example example of how I show up and how my brand is associated with my agency. So there's ways to tie all of that together. And these are some of the tips that we use to help people build personal brands, whether it's individually or within their companies.